Greetings, I am Reginald Angus Argu. I'm the Poet Laureate for the Veterans of World magazine. The poem I'm going to share right now is called Spirit of Scotland. Shine! Ready! Mass, pipes, and drums! By the centre! Quick! Mass! Here we go. Emerging from the visions of medieval castles, glistening in the reflection of the waters of its locks, our eyes are captivated by the mesmerizing sight of moors, whose surfaces are softly shrouded in mist, while the luscious green countryside sparks our imagination. Just as its towering mountains transcend the heaven above, covered in the innocence of snow, hiding their secrets from others for a period each year, this unique charm found in both the people and land of Scotland is a marvel that will leave you in awe. Building upon its charm, Scotland's official national animal, the mystical unicorn, remains tied to its Celtic roots and mystique. It symbolizes virtue, innocence, and strength. Returning to its picturesque views, the sight of high cliffs that have been weathered by the Irish and North Seas, as well as the Atlantic Ocean are written within the spirit of Scotland that flows through the veins of many. Scotland's charm is heightened by its vibrant oral tradition, where stories are not just tales but a living testament to its history passed down through words, voices, songs, legends, and folklore. They're remnants of a history that date back before the birth of Christ, a testament to the enduring spirit of this land. Among them are the fables about Loch Ness Monster, a mythical creature believed to dwell in the depths of the lake. This legend, steeped in mystery and intrigue, has captivated the world's imagination for centuries. Another tale is the saga of Robert the Bruce and the Spider, which embodies the spirit of resilience and determination. It tells how, inspired by a spider's relentless tendencies, Robert the Bruce triumphs over adversity and led Scotland to a renouncing victory in the Battle of Bannockburn. Some other tales recount how distant Highlanders, in their fierce resistance against the Roman Legion, forced them to build a massive wall known as Hadrian's Wall to keep out the Celts. With the passage of time, the Vikings, renowned for their maritime skills, not only re respected the Celts, but also integrated into their communities, leaving an indelible mark on Scotland's cultural fabric. Their influence can be seen in the Norse place names that still exist in Scotland today and in the Scottish dialect, which contain many Norse words. Family clans formed within Scotland and they showed that fear only exists in the minds of those who do not confront the impossible. Utilizing their footholds and ships, they had an endless desire to conquer everything before them. Their battle cries, vocalizations and Bagpipe music often send chilling waves of fear through their adversaries' armies long before they reach the battlefield. Exhibiting their clan colors through their kilts and tartans, they were more than just fabric patterns. Each color and pattern had a specific meaning representing the clan's history, values, and achievements. In the face of the harshest weather, the Scottish people unwavering resilience and perseverance shine as beacons of inspiration, a testament to Scotland's indomitable spirit. Even in the farthest corners of the globe, the flame of Scotland's spirit continues to burn brightly in the hearts of its distant descendants, forging a profound and enduring global connection. Their bloodline links them back to Scotland, which will live on forever and never be defeated. And wrote that originally back in 2019 did some revisions on it in june of 2024 as i say to everyone be the positive change that you want to see in this world my name is reginald angus argue i'm the poet laureate for the veterans world magazine until we meet again have a great day everyone